Hey, Star Wars Action Fair Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another video, and this is another uh, tag video. I've been tagged yet again by the Darth Prime, who just recently did a video, I think it was on Valentine's Day, called Action Figure Love, where he pretty much talked about all these different figures that he had much love for, I guess is what I can say. <laughs> and he just shut off some favorites, um, some figures that were close to his heart, sentimental, sentimental value and whatnot, and he tagged a few people, and I was one of them. And um, definitely, uh, you know, uh, more than happy to oblige and do a video in a response to action figure love. So um, mine's going to be a bit different. Some of these are action figures, and some of these are not. And I really just wanted to talk about some of the items in my collection that hold some sort of sentimental value that, you know, just really love and enjoy. And, you know, there would be some of the first things that I would tend to grab, you know, if there was some sort of fire or something that if I could save a few things, these would be some of the items that I would go for. And I limited it to uh, five items. So I'll be tagging some people at the end of this video and uh, hopefully they can do some video responses. If not, you know, definitely feel free to leave some comments. And if you don't get tagged, you know, feel free to do a video anyways or leave comments below as to what are some uh, of the your collectibles that you have a lot of love for. So first thing I'm going to start off with is, is uh, Star Wars. So, um, you know, I didn't choose my favorite figure in my collection. I mean, I do have a lot of love for the Star Killer that was released in the 30th anniversary collection. Um, the Lord Starkiller one I mentioned many times that is my favorite figure. But I went with this one, which is the Vintage Collection uh, OTC Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. And this is a great figure. This is actually my first Star Wars figure ever that I ever bought. I think I bought this around the time that uh, Revenge of the Sith was released back in 2000, uh, right before Revenge of the Sith, so 2004 or so. I bought this figure along with some other ones from the Revenge of the Sith line, and um, I'm not even quite sure if this was a, the VOTC card or what, but definitely one of the first figures I ever bought. You know, still have them complete. One of my favorite figures in the collection, and this is basically what led me to start collecting action figures. And even though I bought about six or seven figures back in 2005, it wasn't until 2011 where I started actually getting into collecting, but just remember wanting to get one of these figures just to have it, you know, in my living room at the time. When I used to live in my apartment, back when my wife and I first got married, and uh, so definitely have a lot of love for this figure. So um, there you go. And um, you know I'm a big Lego collector, as many of you know. And uh, this is you know not a figure, of course, but more of a set. And this is the slave one, which got me into collecting Lego. This was a gift for my wife, and I've mentioned many times before that it just this holds a lot of sentimental value for me. Just really love this set and comes with Boba Fett and Bosk and a Han Solo and just my first ever Lego set. This is what pretty much got the ball rolling on the Lego set collecting for Star Wars and just a great set. Still, you know, a, a wonderful part of my collection and really love the Slave one. So, you know, Boba Fett being one of my favorite characters, definitely a lot of love for the Fat Man. Now this figure... I remember buying back, God, I don't even remember when I bought this, to be honest truth. It's definitely before I really got into collecting, around the same time I got that Boba Fett. And I actually bought two of these. I bought a Boba Fett one, which I don't have anymore in my collection. I have no idea where it went. And I have a uh, Darth Maul one, which I still have. And it's a Transformer, one of the crossover uh, Transformer Star Wars uh, characters that were released for quite a few years, actually, even you know back in... I think it was maybe 2011, 2012 they start making these, but this one turns into the Sith Infiltrator, and really love this thing, and uh, you know, it's just a very awesome piece, and you know, I need that Boba Fett back in my uh, collection, just you know, just one of those other pieces that really, I guess, even though it was before I started collecting, kind of piqued my interest before I knew I wanted to start collecting. And now I'm going to take it back to my childhood. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to play with all kinds of stuff. Um, I remember buying uh, Toxic Crusaders and a little bit of Transformers, a little bit of G.I. Joe. But the main thing 
of course, and you know this is where I can relate to Darth Prime, was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I must have had, you know, I've mentioned this before, about 40, 40 to 50 figures, along with about 10 vehicles or so, and I played with my figures. I, I played till they were in pieces and accessories were lost. Though I do remember, you know, off before I went off to college, that um, a lot of them were still pretty much intact, and I still have a lot of the accessories. But then something between leaving home to go to college, something happened to my box, and I no longer have those figures, which is a shame. I wish I wish I did, and a part of me wants to go back and collect a lot of what I had back as a kid. You know, go shopping online. I still have yet to start that. I talked about it last year, but I've yet to do it. But uh, you know, uh, I did pick up this which was just a reissue, just to kind of represent that love I had for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's a pretty cool figure. I never had the Shredder when I was a kid, so I, remember I picked this up last year, and uh, just harkens back to those days and has the classic packaging there for the most part, pretty much the same. And, you know, I never had the Shredder as a kid, and um, it's still in the box, so and there's the classic. I didn't pick up the Ninja Turtle ones, because, like I said, I really want to pick up the uh, original one sooner or later and you know I'll probably end up picking them up loose but just a lot of love for the turtles and hopefully I can get those one day back in my collection and the last thing I have is not toy related at all um, you know besides Star Wars um, my other big passion collecting is Marvel and I'm a big Marvel fan um, Marvel Universe and you know these comic books in general I started collecting comics a few years ago when I Restarted collecting comics when I started getting into Star Wars comics. You know, now I'm into a few, you know, here and there. But I've definitely been picking up some old back issues and whatnot. And I collect the Marvel Universe three and three quarter inch line. And uh, this, you know, I didn't collect figures when I was a kid. Though I was always interested in the Toy Biz X Men one. But right, I have here is trading cards. So this whole tin right there, my Star Wars tin, is filled up with trading cards that I collected as a kid. And this is what got me into the comics and the toys that I'm into now. And this was the first card I picked up. Went with my friend to the comic book shop, and I bought a pack of X Men cards, the Jim Lee ones. And when I the very first pack I opened, this was one of the cards inside the pack, and I was just like, "Wow!" <laughs> I was like, "It's hard to describe how I felt at that moment, but just seeing this card, the artwork, was just like, "Wow!" I was I was blown away. And, um, you know, not too long afterwards, I, I got this one right here. And I was just thinking to myself, this is so cool. Like, as a kid, seeing superheroes and just the artwork and everything was just amazing to me. So I started getting into X-Men, X-Factor, and Spider-Man, and that's what got me into comic books. And, you know, and just, you know, just last few years ago, just re that whole reinterest of buying comic books again, figures, you know, when X-Men vs. Avengers was released back in 2011, I think it was, or 2012, um, that just got me into buying the figures and, and just, you know, the whole geekiness that I am today. A lot of it has to do with these cards and just, just different series here and there and just, yeah. So anyways, this is my vid on in regards to what what I love in regards to action figures and collectibles. Definitely a lot more pieces of my collection that I enjoy. But um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. So now I'm going to tag some people. And like I said, it'd be great to see a video response. If not, a comment or so in, 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 in the uh, comment box below would be great. But I'm tagging, you know, I have to. Forces with Jesse, my good friend. MG Villain MP478. I know you've collected a lot of great things over the years. So it would be interesting to hear what you have to say. And Steve Starwalker Cardone. So there you guys have it. Hope you've enjoyed this vid, and until next time, may the Force be with you.